to be where he sticks. Okay, um, I want to talk through what Mike Emanuel has told us about. We're finding out potentially because this FBI report could come at any time. It says the FBI is expected to send a single copy of the supplemental report on Judge Brett Kavanaugh to the Hill. All 100 senators and nine staffers will be authorized to read it. It'll be kept in a safe from the Senate Judiciary Committee. Sources say it'll go to the White House first, then to the Judiciary Committee, and it may be carried to the offices of individual senators on, requ um, on request. John, if they're trying to get this vote moving by Friday, Saturday, Sunday, wherever they're trying to land this plane, how do you do that with one copy? Do we really think there's only going to be one? Because you know it's going to leak. Can they not make 100 copies? I mean, they'll all have access. They'll have all ability to read this thing. I mean, in, in terms of the actual substance of the matter, I think what matters is whether it actually changes any of the underlying facts. You know, does it change the fact that there's no corroboration? Uh, does, the, does her lifelong female friend uh, who says she has no recollection of this party and she doesn't even know Brett Kavanaugh, does she somehow change her story in a way that would be dramatic? Well, that's really what's going to matter here. The, the senators are going to have plenty of time to review this. You know, the, the FBI here they're not doing a criminal investigation. They're doing this for the senators. Uh, the senators have requested this. The White House has then done this for, for the purpose of the senators to do their due diligence uh, and the role of advice and consent. Well, and her team obviously very upset that at this point, it appears they're not going to interview. The FBI isn't going to interview Judge Kavanaugh or Professor Ford. Um, you know, Senator Grassley has been pushing for all kinds of information about the polygraph test, who they talk to, um, you know, her therapist notes, and they say, we'll give them to the FBI, but we're not giving them to you when they interview her. But, David, so far they say uh, they haven't called. And that's a, that's a really big sticking point for a lot of people who say without that, they're not sure they Right, and, and that's a sticking point. And quite frankly, everything's a sticking point with the Democrats. I mean, you know, they always say, they talk about they want a thorough investigation, but the truth of the matter is they didn't complete the whole sentence. They want a thorough investigation, dot, 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 until November 8th. I mean, that's when they want the thorough investigation because at that point, if they take control of the Senate, then it's a whole different ballgame. That's what this has been about uh, all along. It's funny, I noticed you chuckled, and I did too. Uh, I don't know if we were chuckling for the same reason, but when you read the part that it's going to be in a safe, uh, let's be honest, it's Washington. Hello. Yeah, it's not One copy it. is a thousand copies. It doesn't matter mm -hmm. whatsoever. Yeah, I wonder if it's going to be armed guard. I don't know. <laughs> um, but I want to talk through some tweets that John Roberts had that we saw coming in at the top of the show. This is the um, one of the original tweets came out yesterday from the Senate Judiciary, which is um, their account, obviously controlled by the majority, the Republican here. They say nowhere in referring to the past six FBI reports on Judge Kavanaugh, which the committee has reviewed on a bipartisan basis, was there ever a whiff of any issue at all related in any way to inappropriate sexual behavior or alcohol abuse? Well, Senator Durbin, and clearly one of the top Democrats on the committee says this tweet is not accurate. Committee Republicans must correct it. And eight of the 10 Democrats on the committee have sent a letter saying you got to fix this. Then the Senate Judiciary tweets back. Nothing in the tweet is inaccurate or misleading. The committee stands by its statement, which is completely truthful, more baseless innuendo and more false smears from Senate Democrats. A.B., we noticed Senators Kuhn and Coons and Klobuchar didn't sign that letter. Right. I, I, it's very tempting for Republicans, and it's useful to focus on the Democrats, but they really need to get this whole thing across the finishing line with Senators Flake, Murkowski, and Collins, who are Republicans. They would love to get the votes of Senator Manchin and Heidkamp, two Democrats who are still on the fence, but those three senators who I mentioned are Republicans. So as much as they want to focus on the hocus-pocus of the Democrats and goalposts moving and all this stuff, it is about the Republicans who are on the fence. And whether or not they can go home, Flake is retiring, but mm -hmm. particularly Collins and Murkowski, to a national campaign against and for his confirmation in their states to their voters and defend the process and defend the FBI investigation. And if it was just a routine background check and they didn't follow up on enough leads uh, and we learn more about this as it may or may not get leaked, mm -hmm. those two women are in the hot seat. It's not about the Democrats writing letters and insinuating things about his drinking. It is about those two women. Mm -hmm. John, final word to you on this. Well, you've now seen Democrats sort of uh, shift the goalposts. They're trying to talk about the, the idea that he perjured himself about drinking, which simply isn't true. He said he drank to excess. He said he drank to the point where he fell asleep, where he threw up sometimes, but that he didn't black out drink. Um, I think that they've done this because a lot of the other allegations, particularly Michael Avenatti's client, those allegations have completely fallen apart. I mean, they were implausible to begin with. They are no longer even remotely credible. If you watch that interview the other night, um, I don't think uh, the alcohol argument is going to work for Democrats here. And I don't think the ice argument is going to work either, throwing ice. Well. We'll let people decide if that's a factor for them when they get to a vote, if they finally do. Panel, thank you very much. All right, when we come